what's going on YouTube the Jimmy Chanka is back with our finale of our Covent Garden settlement build and gosh am I so happy with how this turned out right off the rip I'm sure if you watch the other two videos on this settlement you can notice some new things right off the bat now trespassers will indeed be shot dead so if you think you're gonna come up here get your mooch on well, you're going to get your death on, bruh. Plain and simple. Don't get me wrong. If you want to come up in here, you want to pull your weight, you want to live here, be a citizen, come talk to me. We can make something happen. But if you skip the come talk to me part, let's just say we got 104 defense that I'm about to shove straight up that ass faster than you can say ass. So what's up now? let's get into it so right off the rip you come through this London door into our settlement and you are greeted with an absolute fortress I mean we got our guard post up here which I got about six guard posts and three guards so they like to rotate posts so we will have a guard on tap eventually here but for now, they're fucked off to another guard post. Whatever. I'm cheap. I can't afford six guards. Moving on. Laser turret. Machine gun turret. Absolute. More machine guns. And then, hey, this is posted. So, don't say that you have not been warned. If you are unauthorized, please refer to this. And then if you have did any political shittery in your past, please refer to this. I absolutely mean it when I say that. Posted once again. MG42 for our last stand. If somehow, by sheer luck, you get past all of those turrets, you ain't getting past this. Now, say... You want to be a settler. Say you actually have good intentions. You're not coming up here with bad will. Ill will, rather. You come through this door. You got your guard post. Mandatory decontamination arc. Now, you have to be deratted before you come in here. I'm not asking a whole shit lot. Just please, please cooperate with Mr. Guard here. Who is somewhere that he should not be aka on top of this building listen this is fallout after all this is the creation engine shit like that is pretty damn normal that's just another day in Coven garden so we got our decontamination arc we got balloons because i want you to make i want people to feel like this is a friendly place and then after a couple days stay I hit them with the whole dictator role and make their life listen I am out here to make anybody's life's hell but at the same point in time you are gonna get brainwashed eventually and you are going to get sucked into my little cult my little regime in here but at the end of the day we're all friends and that's what matters so if you watched my previous videos, you will know that that building right there is new. This is all new. This is new. We got our clinic off here to the right. Everybody's got relevant clothing. So my two doctors got scrubs, surgical gloves, surgical mask. Can also do some chemistry in here. And now that the core is done in here... My sole purpose, instead of collecting junk when I'm out, you know, out in the wasteland, I'm going to be collecting relevant items for each one of these stalls. So, aka, example, this is a clinic, so all these shelves are going to be stocked with chemicals, um, medical items, you know, this have like surgical trays, scalpel with scissors, we got our patient chair there. Just a all-around cozy little clinic, I must say. When we come here, we got a little walkway for easy access to get back and forth. 
do a little circle here just absolute easy access and then we got a uh, little hot here because I kind of needed more beds and I didn't really know where to throw them and this was dead space so I plopped this building down which fits perfectly and we just got a two beds table clock some lighting and then back here I finished the wall put a couple more generators in here got the relevant signage just an really happy with kind of like how this electrical slash plumbing room turned out I put a couple more crops down since I have more settlers guard post garden this now I had this walled off originally but for whatever reason the people that are working back here in the garden if they want to get over there instead of you know going down that route or just simply mm -hmm. taking this route they absolutely love to go out and around and then through that door so what was happening is they were pulling one of these deals at this wall right here so what I did is I just put a raised platform here got a turret put a guard post down problem solved it is a uh, weak point but at the same point in time it's not a weak point that's not guarded got a windmill mostly for aesthetics plopped up on top of the outhouse no entry point here until you get down to that door so getting back into the settlement here we got our outhouse couple sinks couple toilets Kira looks like she needs some privacy we got the friggin big horner finally trapped in his damn pen added a bush added that thing whatever you want to call that down here's our farm indoor farm because a lot of this dirt's not usable for whatever reason and then added a couple more crops down in here got a little fish rack picnic table for breaks it's a vast world, and there's treasure to be found Let's I'll probably it. add a few more things down here but for the most part this place is content complete and then back here we got a little break room which I suppose I could add some lights back here okay so boom just like that electricity ran to this corner so we got our little break room here cooking stove picnic table campfire just a little place for these guys to come chill don't you even think about it big boy Hoo -ah! Hoo -ah! Hoo -ah! that's a big boy dude I can't budge him so we come down in here we got our stalls damn it I always end up showing the shit off at night I could rest but all the settlers occupy their stalls correctly now finally so when I come in here during the daytime I got every stall that you can plop down in your settlement here so if I ever need anything I can always come to my settlement either sell shit or buy stuff which is just fantastic because this is a when I build a settlement it's got to be flushed and this is as flushed as a toilet in my opinion now like I said earlier I'm gonna start stocking all these shelves up as you can see I already started with an absolute whopper of an undershirt and jeans we've got clothing here we've got our general store here each stall has relevant um, stuff so in other words general store we got the refrigerator kicking because obviously they sell some food items and then we got a bunch of chests in here well, we got our cigarette machine, a couple benches. In here, we got our scavenger station, which is more flushed out. A couple shelves, toolboxes, a couple chests. You know, just kind of all in all, looks like a scrapper room. And then out the door, we got more shit to add to the scrapper. Got a beat up truck. Just all in all, the aesthetic in this room and around the room, I'm very happy with. 
And then we come down the hallway some more. We have the other side of the main entrance. So this is entrance number two. Unfortunately, there's not a whole shit ton of space over here to do stuff with. So that's why I kind of consider the other side as my main entrance. But once again, posted, you have been warned. Got a guard on duty. And then I did occupy this hallway with a couple things. We got a milk machine, got a fire hose, cigarette machine, some benches, little break area with a couple picnic tables, a couple grills. Now, my theory was this is kind of like the main road running through here. So I put the fire nozzle here because in theory, if this place ever burned down, the fire truck would come through here, hook up to that. Same thing with the garbage. You know, garbage truck, come around, go to the dumpster, blah. So we come around here, and this view is absolutely badass. Just so happy with how everything turned out. You know, this carport wasn't here, factory. None of these rigs were. All this stuff has been added by hand. Got a couple shit boxes parked under the shit box carport. Got the Covent Garden sign with the marquee arrow. And then our grand walls got some decorations, a couple flags. We got some uh, chimichangs here. Got our guard post. And then that's where we came out and then around. And as you can see, the guards do take shifts. Now she'll migrate to another guard post since, like I said, I'm a cheapy. Cheap ass can only afford three guards for six guard posts. Whatever. Sue me. Got a couple light up posters lining in this place. Absolutely love the homemade assets for this mod. And then in here's our gun shop. We got a gun shop. All the relevant stuff is listed out here on the door. We walk on in here. The gentry roll is at a cost. It absolutely is. Fuck the gentry. Got weapons for the weapon station posted up here. And then we got mannequins set up with the armor. We got some metal armor, some combat armor, some leather armor. Everything's on display. Super happy with how this room turned out as well. So, that's strip number one. We got our barracks here. Not much has changed in here, but if you haven't seen the other videos, just a couple prison beds. Everybody's living out of suitcases. And we got one channel rolling 24-7. Pump their minds with subliminal messages. Got a couple propaganda figures on here because, I mean, at the end of the day... I am trying to brainwash these guys. Giving up their freedoms for safety. That's what it's all about here at Covent Garden. Got a couple mailboxes. Now up here. We got the MG42 regular machine gun turret. I had to put a structure Let's on top exploring. of this. Because I needed to add a couple more beds. Because it was getting kind of populated here. It's a very popular place to be. I mean, after wandering London for about 68 hours, I must say that this is probably the safest place in this whole map. So, the demand is high. So we got a guard post here, a couple more turrets. This will actually take you down and around via the staircase. And then this staircase is just so I can do fun things without the TCL command. Jump on down. Got a basketball court here, which is brand spanking new. Couldn't figure out what to do with this area. And this just made perfect fucking sense. We got the Marquine sign. Last game was the Tower Hamlet Kings versus the Eastminster Darts. There was the final score. It was game three, and it is sponsored by Cobra's Bar, which just so happens to be our next stop. Now, with it being 10.33, it's just a couple hours past what these guys like to do. They like to come to the bar, generally at the end of the night, once they get off work. 
they occupy this bar, sit on the stoles, but of course, as soon as you get the damn camera rolling, you can't ever have anything perfect like that happen. It's only when you're just playing the game lackadaisical when shit like that happens. In here, we got our barber shop. We got our surgery room in here, equipped with the hospital bed. Now you got the sink for washing hair, you got the mirror, couple dressers. And then in here, you got the waiting seats, you got the hospital bed, the sink for washing your hands and washing wounds. Got the Nuka Cola machine, jukebox, Imperial Stout sign, I mean, disco ball. All in all, very happy with how this turned out as well. I mean, both these strips, now that they're flushed out, especially here at night when they're all lit up, I mean, holy shit, am I happy with this. So at this point, we kind of did a 360 degree rip. As you can see, we pretty much so ended up right back here at the decontamination arc. So, the only thing we really have not seen yet... Man, do I love this fucking basketball court. Down here's our farm, picnic table, fish racks, bunch of food. Little whatever that is, decoration cart. And then in here's our workshop. Got a couple more kills on display. Met full magazine rack now, so now we got a secondary one I'll start filling up. Got all of our workbenches. Toolboxes next to them. Got our cigarette card thing up there. This is new. Got the Nuka Cola mixer. Got our kitchen fully flushed out. Started to decorate some things in here. Just plop some shit down on the counter. Got our tea machine, refrigerator, our bar up there with a sink, table for six because <laughs> a fucking table for 18 would be intense. All in all, super happy with this place. This, like, this is my favorite room in the whole entire settlement. Gotta remind these fuckers to be safe because I ain't got no insurance. And boom, that's pretty much so a full rip around Covent Gardens. Fully flushed out, fully sexy, fully happy, talking some heavy happage when it comes down to uh, what I think of this place. Like, full erect nipples are going down right here. Just absolute wildebeest of a settlement. Love every square inch of this place super happy with how it turned out because generally I would build my settlements with mods With the cheat terminal just spawning Infinite fucking junk, but this was all done without mods with this being such a fresh damn game Nobody really knows what mods are compatible with it. So I'm just playing her safe Just rolling with the mod itself, which is Fallout London Buff out four for stability. Weapon debris fix for stability. And the long loading time fix. That's it. So when it comes to settlements, this was all done the absolute straight and narrow way. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you're impressed. Let me know if you think this is a big old pile of shit. Let me know if you think I'm a big old pile of shit. But regardless, the Jimmy Chang is signing off from Covent Garden for the last time. Later, Wayfarers.